What's going on YouTube? It's Aaron here. In this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to set your bids correctly with Google Ads so that way you appear number one on Google and that way you're not going to be paying way too much to be number one but you're not going to be bidding too low so that way you're not number one and you're not showing up at all. So let's get right into it. So if you don't know me, my name is Aaron Bogle. I am a Google Ads Manager for local businesses. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe below. And also be sure to comment any questions you have so I can make future videos about it and I respond to all my comments as fast as I can. So anyway, how do we set the proper bids in order to um, you know, show up at number one in Google? So if you don't know what I'm talking about with bids, Google is pretty much an auction-based bidding system. So, for example, if we search the term plumbers near me, all we can see that we have some ads here for, you know, plumbers, for plumbing repairs and stuff like that, right? So, pretty much what just happened when I typed the search plumbers near me is an auction. So, pretty much like how any auction works, the person who bids the highest gets the number one spot but with google you know the second highest gets the number two spot etc etc while bids is not mainly focused on the amount you're willing to bid so the you know the dollar amount it's also based on your quality score and i will go in detail about quality score in another video but in this video i'm going to just talk about the numerical amount of money you should be bidding in order to appear number one in Google. Um, because if you don't bid enough, you're not going to be in these top two spots. You are going to be either all the way down here or you're going to not show up at all, unfortunately. So we want to be at least, we. I mean, the goal is number one, but we want to be at least in like the top two or three positions as soon as someone does the search, right? So how do we adjust this bids? Of course, if you're doing automated bidding, Google's going to make these bids for you, but if you're just starting out a campaign, you do want to do manual cost per click. Um, with I do enhanced cost per click because A, um, you don't have much data with your brand new campaign to take full advantage of the automated bidding. And B, um, for me, when I tried, let's say, maximize clicks, um, it didn't really maximize the amount of clicks I was getting. I found that when I set the bids on my own, not only was I getting more clicks and more conversions, but I was also getting them faster as well because I can set aggressive bids and therefore, you know, show up number one faster in Google. So how exactly do we do this? So the very first thing you want to do is go into the keyword planner with Google Ads. So to get there, you want to, of course, log into your Google Ads account. I'm going to be assuming that you know how to do all that. Um, then once you... Get into your Google Ads account, click on Tools and Settings, and then you want to go on to Keyword Planner, and then you're going to end up here. Then you want to click on Discover New Keywords. So let's say we are in, um, let's say we're in Richmond, Virginia. You know, you're targeting a lot of different areas. You can just put the state as well. That could be okay too. And then you want to type in the keywords you intend to bid for. So let's say we are a cleaning company, right? And we're looking for you, we want more people who are looking for cleaning services. So we're going to type in cleaning services near me because if I'm if I type in cleaning services near me, that there's a high likelihood that I'm looking for a cleaning service that's close by. So I type in search and we could see here that we're going to get, you know, the average monthly amount of searches and the different keywords that we have and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into too much of like, oh, what keywords you should bid for, what keywords you shouldn't bid for. I have another video about that on my channel and how to structure your campaign overall. So how I make my bids with Google Ads is actually pretty simple. I just look at the top of page bid low range and the top of page bid high range. Pretty much what are these things? So the top of page bid, page bid low range is... It shows the lower range of what advertisers have historically paid for keywords top of page bid based on your location and search network settings. The average CPC of your keywords may actually vary. And then the top of page bid high range is the higher range of what advertisers have historically paid for a keyword. Keywords have a page bid based on your location, search network. So how I think of it is the high range is pretty much if you have not that great of a quality score, you're bidding at a very competitive time that all like a lot of other people are bidding at. The low range is maybe you're bidding at a time where there's not too much competition bidding. Your quality score is pretty good. You can see here the low range is, you know, 
four dollars here the high range is like 10 can be twenty dollars so i like to bid you know a little bit above the middle so for so i kind of take the average so the average here is like 20 so like the middle is around ten dollars so i would depends how aggressively i want to bid so i would bid somewhere in the like eleven dollar twelve dollar range so because that way my bids are competitive and I'm going to show up faster with Google. And if I show up faster, I'm going to get more leads faster overall, assuming that the keyword actually does bring in the leads. Another thing that I do look at that not many people actually do look at is the competition. So you can see, you know, relatively speaking, how competitive is this keyword. So if it's medium, that means that, you know, there's still some room for you to come in there and grab some of the traffic. If it's low, then that means there's a lot of room. If it's high, that means that there's not that many rooms, but this may be a very good keyword. So you may have to set your bids a little bit more aggressively because of that. And as I'm making my ad group, for example, I, you know, see, okay, cleaning services near me. So I want to find other keywords that are related to the words cleaning service near me. So yeah, so once I would go through all that and I would gather all the bids and stuff, I would look at all this data, be like, okay. From the average, it seems like the low range is like, you know, between four and uh, six dollars. From the high range, it seems like it seems to be from 10 to, you know, $25. So all these different keywords, I'm just going to bid at around $18. You can set these keyword bids um, individually, but, you know, that would take a lot of time. If you don't, and it's on, honestly, it's unneeded, you can just set a pretty high aggressive bid overall and just bid $18 overall. And then eventually, uh, as you get some data, Google's going to actually tell you what how much you should bid to be on the top of page in one of the column settings, which I'll actually get into right now. Okay, so here you're going to see... Um, under your column section, you can go down to modify columns and your keywords. And then once you're in the mod once you're in this uh, section, you want to go into attributes and then you can see, you know, the estimated first position bid and then the estimated top of page bid. And then, then that way it's going, this data is going to be personalized for your campaign. Thus, you're going to be seeing, okay, this is how much I should bid for a good chance to be shown at the first position or at least the top of the page. Usually for this, I depending on the keyword and the data, I would either just bid for just the top of page, but if the keyword's working really well, I may bid more aggressively, so that way I, I appear in the first position as well. Because remember, you know, Google Ads auction is very complicated, and um, you may need to bid different things at different times. Hence, you know, even though it's saying that's first position bid now, maybe in another auction five minutes later, it's only good enough for top top of page bid. So keep that in mind as well. And then if you follow these rules, you're going to appear number one in Google when you're running Google Ads, most if not all the time. So pretty much what you want to do is just go into Keyword Planner, look at the top of page bid, look at the high, look at the top of page and the low range and the high range bid in the middle but a little bit closer to the high range to bid aggressively then after a few days of data look at the estimated top of page bid here estimated first position bid here and you can make your bids accordingly so that is how you set your um cost per click so you appear number one with google be sure to click on the video um over there and then you're going to be able to see um you know how to completely make a whole google ads campaign see you guys in that video take care